Hey YouTube, it's IC, and welcome to the 118th episode of Best Tech Info and Rumors. Now, first of all, I just wanted to talk about Dream JB or Dream Jailbreak. Now, yes, I did make a video on this the other day, and you can check that video out. I'll have a link to it down below in the more info if you're at all interested in it. But I just wanted to essentially summarize and let you guys know what happened with that since I made my video on it. All right, so really quick, just to give you the highlight, someone who is posing as a hacker, Dream JB, said that they were going to release a untethered jailbreak for iOS 6 and 6.0.1, which would include all of the Apple's latest iOS-based devices on December 22nd. They actually created a lot of hype around this and gained somewhat of a following, and then they released a fake video of them supposedly jailbreaking their iPhone 5. And in the video I created, I essentially proved that theirs was indeed fake, and shortly after they released that video, they took it down, deleted their Twitter account, and actually posted on the website that it was all just a social experiment. So for those of you who got your hopes up and bought into the hype, unfortunately there still isn't an iOS 6 or 6.0.1 untethered jailbreak for any of Apple's iOS devices. However, of course, remember if you're on an iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS, or fourth generation iPod Touch, you can still jailbreak using Red Snow and a workaround. So I will include a link to that video down below as well if you're at all interested or if you want to jailbreak on, again, 6.0.1 on an older A4 based device or an iPhone 3GS. All right, now moving on the other day, on December 10th, it was reported that certain customers who had ordered the 27-inch model iMac noticed that their order had changed from processing to preparing to ship to actually shipped. And certain customers who ordered their 27-inch iMac early enough have already received them. So unfortunately, I'm still waiting on mine, so hopefully I should get it soon. It is shipping out right now, and once I get it, I will definitely make an unboxing video. If you guys like that, maybe I'll also make a couple of other videos, such as benchmark tests. Now, I did order the iMac with the Fusion Drive built in, so I might do a test or two on that if you guys are interested. All right, now next up, the other day, the Google Maps app was approved by Apple and is now available for immediate download inside of Apple's App Store. So if you have an iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch, you can go into the App Store, search for Google Maps, and download the application. As most of you know, Google Maps was actually present in iOS since the beginning up until iOS 6, which is when Apple introduced their own new custom in-house mapping solution, which effectively replaced the old Google Maps app. And now it is finally back to iOS-based devices. Now, I actually did an in-depth video review and comparison between a couple of different features in the Google Maps app versus Apple's own Maps app. So if you guys are interested in that, just be sure to check it out. I will include a link to that video down below as well as links to everything else I discussed. All right, now next, yesterday on the 13th, Apple released their iTunes Store Award list. So if you want to find out the top digital content of 2012, just be sure to check out that post. Again, Apple has created a pretty nice list of the best apps, music, movies, TV shows, books, and podcasts over the past calendar year. Now, Apple also released iTunes 11.0.1 yesterday to fix a couple of different bugs and also improve the speed of search results. And if you want to download the new version of iTunes, you can do that a couple of different ways. If you're on a Mac, you can go to the Mac App Store and the software update feature, and you'll be able to update iTunes that way. Now, you can also go to Apple's iTunes specific page, and you can download it that way, whether you're on an OS X-based computer or a Windows-based PC. All right, and finally, while it may seem obvious, and while I have mentioned it before in previous articles, according to a new report from Digital Times, Apple's next generation iPad mini will receive a Retina display. So yes, it does make sense that Apple wants to get all of their products using the Retina display technology. However, they also have to factor in battery life and how practical it is with something like the iPad mini, because of course it is significantly smaller than the full-sized iPad, which as most of you may remember, was discovered with the third generation iPad, which is the first one to feature a Retina display that the battery covered almost the entire iPad. So Apple may first have to innovate where the battery is concerned before introducing a Retina display to something like the iPad mini if they want to maintain the battery life. All right, I hope you guys like this video don't forget to rate it up if you did and hit that subscribe button to be notified every time I release new videos also to enter my iPad mini giveaway just be sure to leave a comment down below in the comment section with the key phrase free iPad mini contest and you'll be automatically entered to win all right now for the question of the day let me know what you guys think in the comment section or on best tech info which do you prefer Google's new maps app for iOS or Apple's own iOS 6 and up maps app again just let me know down below or on best tech info now don't forget to like me on Facebook follow me on Twitter and add me over your circles inside of Google Plus to be updated more often. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.